Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually filming this on my phone because my camera died and I just let a chicken out. Hang on. You can meet one of our new girls. This is Latte. I don't know if I showed you guys her before, but her little tail was pecked to death by um, her friends at the feed store and it is grown back so nicely. Latte, come on. Come on, come on. Right here. Right here. Go back in. Good girl. And that is Pumpkin. She's new to the family too. And then I still have our two reds, Lola and Patricia. Um, Patricia is mean. She started pecking my feet every time I come out here. So I don't know, but Lola is sweeter. Still a little feisty and Flame, the little white one. She is the sweetest. She is my favorite. Um, these two girls are actually really cool too, <laughs> but these two have gotten a little feisty and I just looked today, we have no eggs. So I'm wondering if they're slowing down their production. We were getting an egg a day from each of them. Um, so yeah, I need to see what's going on there because that's not good. I want some eggs and they're delicious. They're such good eggs. So that's the chicken update. So the garden update is that I am learning a lot through failure with my fall garden. Um, I think I got too excited to get things in the ground and they cooked because it was still a little bit too warm for them. So I'm just kind of watching everything. I'm being patient because if I pull it out, I'm going to get nothing, right? And if I'm patient and I just let it see if maybe they can recover and then I might get something. And if not, I've learned something either way. So. I sewed a bunch of carrots in this bed that I'm going to show you and only two are popping up and I don't even know if they're good. My peas look like they're doing okay and I only got two out of this four broccolis that I planted. A weed totally is destroying one of them so that's annoying um, but like I said I am learning a lot through failure with this fall garden and I'm not mad about it. This broccoli is looking great. See where it says that there's a broccoli in here? It died and this weed is now trellising, which is awesome. Um, these peas look like they're doing pretty good. I can't get them tall enough to trellis just yet, but um, I'm gonna try. <laughs> and then there's another pea. Um, that broccoli looked like it's done and then this broccoli looks pretty good. And then I just watered, but here's some carrot um, shoots, which is exciting. I had done carrots all the way down and only two are popping up. So I don't know what I did wrong there, but the nice thing is I think carrots, you can redo a bunch, so that's good. And then this bed, I still have my sage in here. I'm leaving it. Again, I have some peas, and whatever this stupid weed is, <laughs> I just can't get rid of it. It's so mean. And then the cauliflowers look a little stunted. I don't know what's going on, and you see some of the weeds popping up there. Um, the peas, that one looked like it tried to do something. Um, and maybe you guys, it's just been so hot. <laughs> like I just, I jumped the gun. Like that's basically, I got too excited about this and jumped the gun. Um, I did plant some beets and you can see, it looks like I'm getting a few baby beets. That's exciting. I love beets. Um, and then this little cauliflowers, I don't know if they're going to make it, but that's one of the ones I'm just going to leave and see what happens. So we'll see. And then in my self-watering containers, um, I have Brussels sprouts and they actually look like they're doing really good. I did lose one, it looks like, but three of them are doing good and I did not have high hopes for that. And then these are radishes and I'm so curious. You guys are going to look with me right now. Is there anything down there? Don't think there's anything down there yet. So we're going to let you just keep cooking. Um, that one looks like there might be. Let's see. You guys, I'm such a dork. I don't even care. Like, how exciting will it be when I find a radish? Um, maybe I planted them too deep. I don't know what I did. I don't see a little radish bulb yet. So we're gonna leave you alone. And you can see some little critter has gotten hold of it. I had um, insect cover over it, and I just took it off, and of course they came after them. Um, ooh, that was gross. Sorry. This is cabbage, red cabbage. And I'm not sure what's supposed to happen here, but it looks good to me. Um, green cabbage, same thing. I don't know what I'm doing. And then, <laughs> this is spinach and romaine lettuce. I believe this is the spinach side. Well, that looks like a romaine, doesn't it? And that looks like a spinach. So I don't know. We'll see what happens here too. And another green cabbage. So 
This has all been planted probably two weeks now. I planted the seedlings um, probably two months ago now. Um, and then I planted them out here probably two weeks ago. So some of these things I feel like should have already been germinating and they're not, or already producing, I mean. So I don't know what I did. <laughs> For me, this gardening experience is such just a lesson in patience and um, I'm the type of person that once I fail, I quit because I don't like failing. I like to be successful and um, that's why I never even start some things because I, I just have it in my head that I might fail. So it's like, I'm just not even going to go there. So gardening is one of those challenges for me that I started with the intention of just seeing it through. Um, and with some of my stuff, not doing what I think they're supposed to, um, I have that in me to be like, Ugh, just give up, but I'm not going to, cause I'm going to prove it to myself that, like I said, if I harvest nothing but knowledge, that is worth it. Um, but if I get to harvest some fun foods too, then they're cool. And I feel like our growing season here in California is a little bit extended. Like it can go, I could still replant some of these things and um, they'll be fine. So I might go ahead and do that. Like the carrots and the beets um, and the radishes maybe because maybe I just did something wrong. I don't know. It's still been really hot. We've still been dealing with fires and smoke. So it just might be a whole slew of things. And that's what I'm learning. I hope you guys enjoyed this little garden update. Um, I know some of you are following along on this journey with me and watching and laughing with me with some of my successes and failures. So I appreciate that. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.